All right. Someone says uh, all this dating is BS. That's certainly an. Uh, that's one way of looking at it. That certainly people can look at dating as BS. Okay. But ultimately, here's the thing: you have to date if you want to be in a relationship with someone. It takes time to get to know another human being. It's it's rad. I mean, here's the thing: I know many of you have this fantasy that it should just be perfect, that it should just be all aligned. Well, I learned the heart. All right, so let me share something with you all because I thought dating was supposed to be very easy in the beginning. And I'm sharing this, what happened after my divorce. So um, I went through a divorce 15 years ago. Is it 16 years ago now? And right then was online dating began. So I thought it was going to be really simple that you just simply plug in exactly what you want and someone would magically appear. And sure enough, I'll never forget my first date. Great woman. Uh, we had a great date, but something wasn't right. And so I went back and plugged in, you know, exactly what I was looking for. And someone else magically appeared and went out with a really nice woman. Great date. Something wasn't right. And I did it again and again and again and again. Quite frankly, I had over 100 internets in my first year after my divorce. And it took me 100 dates to realize that the problem wasn't them. The problem was me. The problem was me. And right at that time, I was an emotional train wreck. I was going through, I had just lost my quarter million dollar year job. I just got wiped out in the market crash uh, of 2008. I had a, a seven figure net worth that was wiped out. I got addicted to drugs and alcohol as a way to cope. And online dating was one of my other methods of coping. In fact, for a lot of human beings, Dating is a coping mechanism to avoid the pain that they were dealing in their life. And quite frankly, my pain reached um, a point where I went to bed wishing I didn't want to wake up. And as I say this out loud, I think about my two boys right now. And I think I reached a point where I went to bed wishing I didn't wake up. In other words, I didn't want to deal with the pain I was struggling with. I lost my identity when I lost my job. I, I was going through a contentious divorce. I had, there was a lot of, I, I, and by the way, I, I take full responsibility for my behavior. I was a jackass during this time. I was very belligerent during this time. And yes, I was addicted to the online dating process because talking to women was my therapy in a way. Talking to women was my therapy. Um, and at the same time though, I began studying, I, right around a year after that year of realizing I was the problem, I began doing some work for myself. I watched the movie, The Secret to get me started. I started to listen to Tony Robbins CDs. I began listening to Abraham Hicks. And then eventually I started to do therapy to heal the pain I was struggling with. And I can tell you, there is a significant percentage of men who are struggling on the inside. And when I say a significant percentage of men, men and women alike are hurting on the inside and all of these and hurt people hurt others. Let me repeat that hurt people hurt others. And I was hurting deeply. And I share this with you because I had I was in the dark tunnel of midlife crisis. I was in the dark tunnel of literally all the shadow. And can imagine, listen, it's hard enough for me to deal with the fact that I lost my son. And for those who know me know I lost my son. Could you imagine I wanted to die and I was going to abandon my children. And a lot of men experience this. In fact, a significant number of men feel like suicide is their, is their retirement plan. There is a significant number of, and a lot of women would say, well, I don't wanna be with a man who doesn't have the balls to be masculine. I don't wanna be with a man who doesn't have the balls to take care of his children. Folks, human suffering is not something an individual chooses in their life. Most individuals don't choose to suffer on the inside. It might seem that way. And yes, some people are addicted and suckling on the nipple of victimhood. We are, we are a country here in the United States where we suckle on the nipple of victimhood. And quite frankly, women are equal contribute, contributors in that category as much men are silent to this. Women are actually vocal to their victim, their suckling on victim consciousness. So I'm here to say, 
we have a choice. We can be a lot more compassionate to one another instead of the fucking divide we have. And again, here in the United States, we are dealing with such a divide of human beings. It's a wonder two people can date anyway. So coming back to dating is BS, yeah, it's because human beings are fucked up. It's not the dating process. It's because human beings are rather childlike. This is why I, I continually recommend this book, How to Be an Adult in Relationship, because when two adults meet one another, they have the greatest chance for success. And a lot of people think they're an adult in relationship when they're quite frankly are just as wounded and hurting and they're doing pseudo work believing that they're actually healing. I know a lot of people that their mask is their belief that they're healed when they're just still riddled with their problems. So yeah, dating is a clusterfuck. I'm not gonna deny that. But what's most important is not the dating process, it's the individual process of coming back to my book, loving on oneself, loving on oneself, because it doesn't matter. if. Here's the thing, the dating process can be shitty, but when you love yourself, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it's the journey that matters most. And I invite you all to go on a journey to explore who you are and who you want to be in your life instead of suckling on the nipple of, I need someone to love me so I can feel good about myself. And that's why a lot of people date. And yes, they some people just strictly seek companionship, connection, and sex and have no intention or not being intentional in the process. I get that, but guess what? You can't control other people, but you can control, or at least you can navigate your own life. And that's my invitation for you. So thank you so much for sharing that. All right, let's keep going. Do we have any questions? Cheryl says, Jonathan is on a roll and rant. <laughs> exactly. Reva says, um, love it. Heart-centered, radical honesty. Yvonne says, Facts, Jonathan, compassion, exactly. Um, balls, testicular fortitude, <laughs> that's funny. 